Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be making a couple of ephemera pieces. So you're probably thinking, what is this big huge pile of mess you have in your desk, Crystal? So um, me and Kim, uh, Kim with Creative Crafticalities, are going to be doing a box exchange again. So we did this in like fall time where we exchanged a box and then we made stuff with the box that we exchanged it with. So I'm putting her box together right now. We're actually going to be meeting up tomorrow to do a little shopping trip. And I am just wanting to put together a couple of little femur pieces that I've kind of been thinking about doing. So the first thing that I want to do is put together, um, I don't know exactly what it's called. I've seen it in a couple of different videos and on Etsy and I'm been was inspired by that actually you know what Nick the booksmith put something together I will find her video and I will link it down below um, to kind of show you where I got the inspiration to do this so basically what I want to do is I want to put together a scrap pad for her so kind of using some of the my junk journal scraps and putting kind of a little pad together so that she can use it in different things when she's doing her um, junk journals. So basically what I was gonna do, I just pulled out a bunch of like my scraps, obviously. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with this piece. So this is obviously a, something that goes into a, like a binder. And it was part of something I had like little binders and it had and I pulled this out. <laughs> so what I thought I would do was use this as the base and kind of build from there. What I thought I would do is just take some of these pieces. So like this one's like a longer piece. And I'm gonna try to like kind of build up um, from this piece. I don't want it to be too thick. Um, I want it to be just a little notebook. So I probably have way too much paper um, here, but I didn't know what I would want. So I'm just kind of gonna go. So I'm just gonna rip it, oops, hello. And just kind of start stacking papers based on the size. So this one's a good size. So maybe take it off over here. I'm not gonna try to be too precise or neat about this. And actually I want the holes on the bottom of that one. I'm just gonna go for it. Just gonna pull papers and I like that that's got a little notch out of it. I don't know what that's from, but I don't want them to all be the same width either. So, and I'm not exactly sure how many pages I wanna give her, but I just wanna start kind of stacking. So I'm actually going to put these to the side in my box over here. It has all my scraps in it. And then let's see, kind of, let's put some pop of blue in there. Maybe between these two. We are doing a spring box. So I kind of want it to be a little bit of a spring colors and things like that. That would be nice. And again, I'm just gonna rip and then start stacking. And I kind of want the rips not all on the same side. I want the rips in different, you know, well, some rips on this side, some rips on that side, just to give it a little bit more um, dimension. This one here. 
I think I'll probably do 10 pages is kind of what I'm thinking. I actually got this from a, um, it's a note from a uh, Etsy shop. She gave me this cute note. I'm gonna keep the note, but I thought I could just use this little piece of yellow to add a little bit of yellow into the page. I have this one sitting over here, but I feel like it needs to be kind of more at the top. But I guess I could go ahead and cut it. And then just place it at the top when I get to that spot. So I'm just gonna start layering these up. I have some book pages as well that I would thought I'd put in there. Um, so I have this one with a little teddy bear and this little girl and her I think I like this one. That one's pretty cute. I might give her this one too, but let me let me just see what else I got in here. Um, I have a map of Italy. Let's do So again, I'm trying to just give her different pieces. I think I want this piece up here. And I'm going, I'm lining them up all the top because I do need them to kind of I need to be able to close it off. Okay, so let's see, maybe another blue piece. Yeah, 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 I like that. And then how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Maybe that. Maybe I can start building them this way. This way. Hey, yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. It's starting to work. Okay. Maybe another. I'm kind of thinking I want some vellum. Like some. Oh, I kind of like how that looks on the top. Maybe I'll put that on the top page. Um, let's see. How many do I have? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I want a couple more. I have this really cute little book page. Mm. Let's see. Maybe this. It's folded in half, but I could just leave it folded in half and put it like that kind of hang out. No, I think I don't, I don't like that one. It covers up too much of the other stuff. Probably put one of these pieces in there. I like these because they're kind of see through. -y. Let's let's do, let's do this. Nope, I don't like that. I don't like that you can't see the map. You probably, I'm probably oh, way overthinking this. <laughs> I probably should not be thinking about this as much. But I want it to look cute. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If I put this on top. Let's see, maybe one or two more and that's it. 
see. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Put that like that. Just one more page, one more book, one more little page. Maybe the birds? Yeah, I think the birds. I think the birds are it. Birds are springy, right? Okay. That's good. I like how you can kind of see all the pieces intertwined in there. Okay, so now what you do is you take a piece of you know what actually let me let me do this first. I'm gonna make this the cover. This is just tracing paper. Okay. And then, I think I might do is use this as the piece that connects it all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this piece and glue it. To the back of this. And then put this on top. and then staple it. Do it now? Yes. Okay. Okay. And then one more at the end here. Cool. And then she can just tear off pieces and use them. Make sure it's all they're all connected. Just use them as scraps for different things. She can use them for embellishments. This one is not really connected very well. But that's okay. I think it'll stay in there. Alright. So there is my little ephemera scrap paper pack. <laughs> the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make her a collage piece of paper. So I um, want to make sure it fits in my box. So I'm going to just measure it so that I know for sure it fits in my box that I have for her sitting over here in the off camera. I need to take off some of this paper. And a little bit off the top. And I like to do my collage paper on paper that you can journal in the back. So I'm just gonna decide which side I like better. I think I'll 
collage on this side. And I have this one piece of paper that I kind of felt really feel like I want it to be a piece of this. I definitely want a piece of this. So I want to make it kind of very springy, flowery, pretty. And typically how I do, how I personally do my collage paper and I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way. I'm sure there isn't. But I kind of like to put down kind of a base and then kind of work off of the base. So here is a flower page that I got out of a gardening book from Cheaply Chic. So I'm actually going to tear it on this side. I kind of like that raw edge over there, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just tear it right here. And then I do like to ink up some of the pages at least, not all of them, but I do feel like it does give dimension. See, like this one is kind of just blending in the background and I'm not even I didn't even put any ink on this it's just basically what's ever on the little pad thing that's all I'm doing okay so let's put that there that there um, let's see I have this as well which I think is really cool so maybe I'll rip a piece from that. Put that at the top up here. You're really not supposed to think too hard about it. It's supposed to be one of those things you just do. <laughs> and I can't find my distressing bears. <laughs> I think I'll use this other page. Well, so maybe put this oh here we go we need to put some of this blue paper in there. Again, just kind of layering it. That kind of totally takes away from that image. <laughs> Maybe put this on top of that like that. There we go. And then I just feel like I need something down here. So I will put this here. Okay, so that kind of gives me a little bit of a base and then I can start adding on top. So I'm going to just glue this haul down. And then I'm gonna put this down. Kind of where I had it before. This is um, wrapping paper. And this page, I'm just gonna glue it down. <laughs> Let me rip this side too. Oh, I wish I had ripped it the other way. Darn it. The nice thing about using paper that has some kind of image or some kind of design on the bottom of it, you don't have to get every single inch of it covered. Because if it's not covered, it still looks good because 
there's a, there's a, it's not just white paper. You could, of course, use white paper, but that's just, I just prefer to use something different. So I want to use this. I always, it's funny because when I was doing collage, I was doing my collaging um, before, I, I would get to this point where I'm like, oh, I don't like it at all. <laughs> and I'm right there. I'm there right now. I'm like, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's ugly. But I have learned that you just keep adding. I don't think I'm going to use this. I learned that you just kind of keep adding until you like it. Wonder how it, is that going to glue with that glue stick? This is tracing paper. It's basically cheap vellum. <laughs> That's what I call it. Let's see. Is that going to work? That's an interesting look. I don't know if I like that. Okay, well, let's see. So far, I don't like it. <laughs> so far, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Let's do vellum, this piece of vellum. That's cool. I like that. Let's put this down. I feel like I need something kind of to, as a focal point, even though it's probably going to get cut up and not even used. What's that? No, that's not. Let's look at this paper, this little mixed media pack that I have. Let's see if there's anything in here that. That might be cool. Oh, I like that little rose. little rose border. I keep not getting the corners down. Okay, it's starting to kind of sort of look a little bit better. So there's this little, those couple pieces are cute. Should I separate them? Let's separate them. these pages that have like little phrases on it. Let's see if I can find one about friendship. Oh, that's cute. That's definitely cute because that goes along with the whole theme. It says love is a seed if it has only to sprout and its roots spread far and wide. I think that's the one. I mean, I'll probably put more than one on there, but I definitely want to put that one on there because it kind of has the whole spring. I 
and I'm going to ink this one up. And then, yes, that's where I'm going to put it. Okay, so I actually got into my ephemera, all my little bits and pieces. I found this one. I thought that would work. And I have these little music tabs. That doesn't really add anything, but um, I'm going to use this. I dropped my thing in the floor. Okay. Alright, so let's, I found this in my uh, ephemera pieces, so wishing you good things in your life, I think that's appropriate. So I'm going to put that right here, I kind of like that it matches the green, and then I also found this one. And I thought I would put that somewhere up here to kind of do three. Rule of three. Kind of a rule in design to always have three. My rule is just keep adding until you like it. I don't know if that's a good rule, but it seems to work for me. I'm going to put this little flower somewhere. Where do I want this little flower? Right there. <laughs> All right, well, I added that one little piece right there. Sorry, my son came in and asked me a question, so I had to get on my phone. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know if I like it. Like, I like this part down here. I think it's this black is throwing me off. I'm just going to cut this little bee out. Yeah, I think I think that's that was an issue. All right. I think since I added this little black piece here and I have a bunch here, I feel like I need just another little piece down here to kind of, again, do the threes. So I'm trying to figure out, I think I'll just cut this little piece right here. I don't want to cover up. I don't want to cover up the words. Yeah, I'm going to put that down there. So, Kim, if you're watching this video, <laughs> I struggled a little bit with this. But, you know, I hope that you like it anyway. 
And if you don't, just lie to me and tell me you do. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna be done. Um, the thing with these things is when you cut them into tags and like journaling cards and other, I mean, you don't typically use this as a page in itself. Yeah, I, 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 I'm liking it the more and more I'm looking at it. <laughs> so tell me what you guys think in the comments. I don't know. Sometimes I'm way too hard on myself. Sorry, I keep moving the camera. Sometimes I'm too hard on myself. All right, so I'm gonna call that done. All right, so what I wanna do is basically give her a bunch of this like ephemera stuff, but I wanna like put it in the box like in a cute way. So let me pull that apart because right now what I wanna do first is I'm gonna take these two envelopes, are the little pocket things, or little um, baggy things that I've Pretty sure I bought these at Hobby Lobby. And the first thing that I want to do is find the thing I want. There it is. First thing that I want to do is I want to cut a hole in one of these. I'm going to take this little circle thing here and I'm just going to eyeball it. Kind of try to get into the center. And then I'm just going to draw a half circle. And then I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to make little slits in the cut. Because when you're cutting circle-y things, it makes it easier if you have little slits. That's a thing I learned in sewing class. <laughs> so, home economics taught me something. And then I'm gonna erase the pencil mark. So, I'm gonna ink the edges up. Okay, didn't really want that there, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take this other piece and I'm going to kind of just um, put it right up against the edge of the other one and then I'm going to fold it down and kind of just eyeball kind of where I want it to land. So I want this to be right here somehow. So I want it to, okay. So yeah, that's probably going to be good enough. So I'm just going to eyeball it, and then I'm just going to cut it, and then use my, I'm going to actually measure how big this is. Try to get it somewhat the same. So I'm going to line up those lines I just made, try to get it centered, and then draw the circle, and then cut it. erase the pencil marks and ink up all of the edges. So my thought process, oh and I forgot to mention that this is an idea that I actually was inspired by somebody else. So I will make sure I leave a link to her video down below. I'm pretty sure it was Roxy Creations, but it might have also been, oh, I can't remember what her channel is called. It's like Mushroom something. I'll put it right here on the screen um, while I'm editing. So um, I'll find the video and figure out who it is. 
All right, so basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I wanna make this a dual pocket. So I wanna make it a pocket with behind it and then a pocket inside. So I'm just gonna take my glue and I'm gonna run it down one side and then down the other side and then leave the top open. And then since this is like a spring theme box, I want to use a piece of this vellum to add a little pocket to the bottom. Just trying to figure out what, yeah, I think I like that corner actually. Let's see. Let me go ahead and measure that out. And I think I'll just make it right here. And then I'm going to get this cut with a paper trimmer. So that's going to be an additional pocket right here in the front. So let's go ahead and add some glue to that. I'm gonna need, I need more Fabri-Tac. What side do I want this on? There's like a duller side and then like a more brighter side. I guess I want it on the brighter side. Okay, it's coming out now. Ugh, this, I need to throw that away. <laughs> it's like goopy, 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 goopy. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this down. And then what I think I'm gonna do is kind of just edge up all the edges, just because the glue has kind of, you can see the brown where the glue is. So I feel like if you if I edge it up, yeah, see it kind of blends in a little bit more. Not sure if that's showing on camera, but I feel like it kind of blends in a little bit more. And I want it to kind of have like a, a vintage feel to it. I'm just going to edge up all of the edges. And now what I want to do is kind of layer in all of these pieces that I want to give her. So the first thing I want to do is I want to give her a couple of these napkins. So this one with the butterfly and the magnolia and then this one with the little bird. So I'm going to actually... I tested it and it did fit in this bag. <laughs> so I'm gonna kinda stuff it in this bag. Got some time cards here, a couple of different looking time cards. So I wanna put those in the top. And I wanna do it where you can kinda see them. So layer them a little bit. The bingo card I wanted right here. So I don't want it too deep in the pocket. And then I have these cute little postcards that I want to give her. Um, so I thought one could go there. And I like that the background is kind of florally. So I thought that that would help to kind of bring in some of the, like a little bit of a floral element at the top here. So let's kind of do that. Let's see, maybe put these tags right here, these little tickets. And then I've got some of these little patches, these appliques. They're actually from 2006. I got them, um, I can't remember I got, I think I got them at a um, scrapbooking like sale. And then I got some little journal cards that says spring has sprung and spring. So I thought I would put those there. 
I like that little in the pocket there. I've got some little um, like vintage stamps. Um, actually, wait, let me see. I wanted to actually put these little guest checks. I've kind of did some different types of guest checks. So I wanted to put these in this pocket. So let me do that before I do that. Just so I can see it. Stick those in there. You're not really going to be able to see the man and the woman, but I think that's okay. Because when she pulls those out, she'll be able to see this little card back there. And then I'm going to put a couple of these. These are just like little ledger cards. Put those back there. Don't need everything to show. I just want it to look like, you know, just kind of have things popping out. And then let's put these back in here. I liked these in here. And I like these in here. And then I have some of these little, they come from a tea company. I don't know how old they are, but I got them at a vintage shop. I want to give her a couple of these. And I think that's cute with a birdie hanging out by the flower. I think that's cute. Let's put this on top of that other one. And then some stamps. Maybe I'll just put these back here, kind of hanging out. And then I've got this, which I wanted to add some pop of pink kind of at the top, maybe. Maybe I'll just add this here. Maybe I'll put this over here, too. That way you can kind of read that that says bingo. Yeah. I think that's basically what I was thinking in my head. So, yeah. So just a cute little way to give a gun bunch of little femur pieces without having it just be all in the box. All right. So, um, yeah. So Kim is actually going to... Be opening the box that I'm giving her on her channel so I'm not going to do that on my channel I'm not going to show you what's in the box um, but obviously you know a couple pieces so I have this that I'm going to put in there I've got my collage paper that I've gonna I made for her today and then I have what else did I do oh yeah <laughs> like what else I know I did something else then I have this little scrap booking pad that I also created for her today. So I hope that she likes everything that I gave you, gave her. This is like really junk journal-y stuff. <laughs> um, most of the other stuff is very colorful and springy and fun, but I definitely wanted to add some like junk journal-y elements to it. Um, so I hope that you like this, Kim. And so thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.